Salutations, queens and kings. Welcome back to another P Valley review. We're back to the season finale. I'm Queen Jam as always. King Jerry, and of course we have Mint Pinkle with Chico Sticks. Mint Pinkle. <laughs> Mint Pinkle with Chico Sticks. You still said it again. Mint Pinkle. Mint Pinkle. Mint Pinkle. We're taking it. <laughs> yes. Today. We're back with yes. We're back with another review. As you know, it's the season finale. Bittersweet. We're gonna jump right on into it, mm -hmm. and um. Of course, as you know from the last week or the week before last, Montavious and Autumn are in the Paradise Room, so they're continuing that scene. And Montavious is continuing to ask Autumn, like, "Where is my money at?" And Autumn pretty much just letting him know, like, um, "I don't have it here. You can't get it at this moment." But you know, pretty pretty much just trying to um, what's it called, kind of delay and like trying to play him off until she can try and get her. And go ahead. I feel like you're going to say something. Oh well. You weren't wait for I mean right into it. First of all, I forgot how good Chico sticks were. <laughs> These really? are gluten free. Uh they're vegan how friendly. Are they gluten free and vegan? Um, they're crunchy peanut butter road and toasted coconut Chico sticks. Well, mine doesn't have a label, mm -hmm. but I will also say that this is a gluten free and vegan. Mint pickle. Pinkle, I'll let you tell. But yes, uh, what we're caught here with Monta um, Montavious. Montavious. Yes, it's Montavious. Montavious um, in, in the Paradise Room. Mm -hmm. And things are definitely getting shaky. Good thing, though, for um, for security in the beat. Uh, in the, 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 the last, uh, yeah, that last episode, being able to, you know, kind of pat people down. Let me tell you something comes in with a lot of benefits when you have security in place. Yes. Going on to that next. And the, the mm. crazy part about when we saw them, uh, Montavious and Autumn in the um, Paradise Room, mm -hmm. he let her know, like, how did you... Uh, people are going to catch on to the fact that you were a former uh, corporate accountant. People would definitely want to uh, catch on to that. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty much just, like, going, going back and forth. And then he ends up choking her. Yeah. And um, she domestic violence. Yeah. Yes, and she she pretty much says like, if you don't let me go, there's no way for you to get your get your money. Yeah. So either way, we ended up um, going, and she also warned Montavious as well that there are cameras in the room. So she was like, look, there's cameras everywhere in here. You ain't, you shouldn't even be doing all this. Mm -hmm. The next scene we see is Little Murder and Mercedes getting ready to go on stage. Not Mercedes, Mississippi getting ready to go on stage. And they go on stage. Mississippi is killing it on the pole. pole very poetic. Lil Murder is killing it on the stage. He doesn't have any stage fright, which I'm very proud of him for. It was a it was a nice duality. The last time we showed two separate two mm -hmm. separate entities going on stage, or preparing things like that. Definitely when we saw it this time, totally different. Totally different. You get both both energies. Yes. Definitely bringing it home. Mm -hmm. um, from from what was projected, of course, you got DJ Never Scared, all right. Mm -hmm. Bringing the the uh, setting setting the atmosphere and the, the whole environment. Yeah. But the artistry when it came to Mississippi being on the pole, and of course the performance and the energy yes. from uh, from um, Little Murder just kind of set the pink off, and you definitely feel the vibe. Heck, yes. I threw a couple dollars. We were just sitting here watching. <laughs> right, so, we was in our living room yeah, throwing know. money. I was like, this is amazing. He, Lil Murder even had like a little um, theme song pretty much from Mississippi. Right, right. And I really appreciate that. That was very, very cute. Oh, which and one And you can even one? see the one where he was like, M, I, Crickle Letter, Crickle Letter, I, Crickle Letter, Crickle Letter, I, Humpback, right, Humpback, right, hump right, yeah. I, Mississippi, Pride, 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 yeah. Pride, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, er, of course, they're in, you know, they're in Mississippi, so. Yes. You know, hey. Yeah, that's where Kinda. it's based at, filming in Atlanta. Yeah. It, it, we've it we've also there. seen a lot of background, uh, a lot of behind-the-scenes uh, details and stuff. If you're not following any of the pink Instagram and Facebooks mm. and stuff like that, you definitely need to because a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes information is being let go there and follow the main characters as well because mm -hmm. they're doing a lot of interviews. So either way, um, you definitely saw 
Derek in the crowd mm-hmm. when Mississippi was dancing on stage. And the next thing you actually see is um, Mercedes is actually in the back with one of her regulars. Mm-hmm. She's in the back talking to one of her regulars, and he's pretty much just showing how much he um, really had to come out here to like for to respect her last dance and show and be there for her last dance. And she was like, I appreciate regulars like you because regulars like you keep girls like me dancing. And he pretty much, and she pretty much confided in him and was just like, can you, do you appreciate me enough to give me 10K? And he's like, well, I've never spent more than 300 for, you know, a, a experience with you. Mm-hmm. And she, and he pretty much was like, well, if you, I'm going to invest 10K, then I want to be able to have access to you. Mm-hmm. And he said, I can take you from the pole to paradise and let me um, buy you a condo by the beach. And I could come and like enjoy my investment and all this other stuff. And she's mm-hmm. like, but your wife won't think about that. And she, he was just pretty, pretty much like my wife already knows. Mm-hmm. Which also gave you key last time, fellas. I gave you key, man. Just don't do it. Because <laughs> yeah. there's too many things that sets up around the whole process. And you're trying to keep up one thing after the other. Same exactly. thing with ladies, too. You know, because ladies can get selective. Don't do that, John. You know, ladies can get selective. But I'm, I'm just, I'm just keeping it a buck. I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. No, for, for real. I'm just saying. When he said that, when he said that, that made me aware that she's not the only person. Yes. That he has bought a condo for mm-hmm. and has thoroughly went through the whole process of living it up as a separate life yes. so again that's definitely a moment where Mercedes she had to definitely go through her moral, morals um, you could tell that great great scene where it pretty much brings her back to a reality moment hey do I want to do this for my gym which that was her original point yeah um, mm-hmm. you know trade in this moment for my for for the gym and and her morals and, and her morals, trading all this and for her gym, you know, you know some and, people and that was a really uh crazy. just just like uh just like you you were saying that was a very um, powerful scene because it showed that Mercedes was not gonna sway away from her morals. She mm-hmm. had that second where she was like second guessing, mm-hmm. but she stayed true to herself. She was like, no, I'm not gonna sell my soul pretty much for this 10k for this gym. I'm gonna find another way to hustle and get this money. Mm-hmm. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. After that, we ended up seeing Little Murder meeting um, Rome Kathy, the mm-hmm. executive producer of Blue Guap Empire. Yes. Yeah, Blue Guap Empire. Yes, the head executive. And, and, and-